Sharon tells me that if MK is in a bad mood, she makes a real mess of her litter tray. And I've walk, walked in the office this morning and this is what it looks like. I think it's safe to say that she's not particularly happy. So I'm thinking that we may actually just let her out because if she doesn't like being confined in here, we can keep her food out here. She's been here over two weeks. She knows there's food here. And we'll see how she gets on with Twix and D because we don't want an unhappy little pussycat. Look, Twix has come in to find her. You'll make her feel at home, won't you, sweetheart? Twix never comes in here in the day. It is obviously very curious. Let's hope she babysits her. This morning, because it's Nero Day, I'm spending quite a bit of time just sorting out the technology. So I've got the GoPro sat on the stand here and to make sure that it doesn't run out of battery, I have this battery pack attached to here, plus an additional wire with a plug because it's really important because we're gonna be live for three hours, just the battery alone on the GoPro won't last that long. And I don't really want to have a break in the live. I want it to be a continuous stream. So making sure that it's got enough energy is really important to make sure it runs smoothly. This is where the GoPro is gonna sit. And because we have horses wandering loose, and the closest plug is over there on the back of the porter cabin, I've just had to run the wires underneath all these mats because obviously we don't want bear or anyone else who's wandering to stand on the wires. JB's just checking out what I've got set up there. Oh no, he's going to nick the haylage. We've taken his muzzle off for the day. Hello little jobbers. Little cheeky boy. So we've got the camera set up so that you'll be able to see if anyone's coming and joining on the side here where the bear comes round. Hopefully that's the technology sorted and we won't have a break in the feed because the other thing is that everything that's recorded on the GoPro stays on the memory card which is in here and once that fills up then the live feed will break so I've just got to work out whether I can stop it from uploading to the SD card so Hull's bought Uber in oh look at those plaits Frey, Frey does what? Puts him in the little pigtails because he's, he's decided he rubbed a chunk of it out here. Oh, he did, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, so he's a balding old man. So she put some Megatech on him yesterday yeah. to help it grow. Yeah. But he's going to go in the turnout Mabel. now. Mab Mabel's heard him, so she's... She loves the boys. So he's going to go in here for now, and then at 12 o'clock, Nero will be joining him. And we'll see how that goes. Jubba's wanted to go in there. Yeah, not now. No, maybe he later. To yeah, he does. But we could probably let him in there later. Yeah. That's a wrap. We've just finished the live. Again, thank you to everyone who joined us. Uber's just giving Nero a little chase again, but he's only going to be out here for another couple of minutes. And then he's going to go into bed for the night where I'm sure he's going to be quite tired and he'll have a good sleep tonight. But Sandy's just getting a few more beautiful shots of him after his beard trim with Teddy Bear supervising. Uber's done his babysitting duties and he's now off out to the field with little jubbers because Jubbers' his best buddy is in stable stays tonight. So he gets to spend the night out with the big boys in the big field. And I've got Micah, who I just did a bit of groundwork with. He's going back down into the 14 acre with all the other girls and Hidda. Micah really wanted to follow Uber and Jubbers in. Are you gonna have to come back down, come down with the girls? Come on, sweetheart. 
I know, I ruin all your fun, don't I? Look at the face on her now. She's really put out about it, aren't you? Hey. You know you love your girlfriends and hid her. Uber's run down to the bottom of the field just to shout at Micah. But he'll go and find Iceman and Little Principal, as Hole calls the albino. They're off hiding in the next door field at the moment. Are we stopping again? So beautiful. see them over there can't you? Yeah, some of them have come over. They've heard us coming down the road. Oh look they're all there. Such a beautiful sight. Them standing on the horizon with Hampsfell in the background. That's the big hill in the background. So it'll be a little bit exciting for them tonight just because they've got Mabel back in the equation. That's her on the front on the left. Looking very, very happy to be back out. But at least she's missed the worst of the winter out here. There's Hidda pulling faces at the back. Let's get Micah back in with them. Oh, Annie's decided that she wants to come in. Uh, Micah's supposed to be going back out to the field. Annie, there's not a stable for you up there. Do you want to come in and just wander free rain? What do you want to do? Do you want to go back out with everyone or do you want to come in? You're not all coming out. Oh, everyone's coming out now. They're all greeting Micah. There's Dale. Annie says she wants in. Hello, Rempen. Hello, gorgeous. All right, can you all go back out in the field, please? Go on, Mike. Go on. Out you go. Go on, Dale. Back out. Go on, Dale, Dale. Go on, Dale. See, I don't want to go back out. Eh? Go on, you can come in tomorrow, I promise. I promise you can come in tomorrow. Go on, out you go. Oh, Yodel's coming out now as well. Hello, Yoda. I don't know why they're all coming out here, because there's no grass. Nothing to eat. Neeky News has come out. Did you think there was something extra out here? Hello, gorgeous noodles. You know my gorgeous noodles. Come on, ladies. You are going to have to come back out. Come on. Hello, Jao. Hello, Spesh. Hello, Speshy. Hello, Speshy. Yodel's coming back out. No. There's little Floppy Doo. Hello, Floppy Man. Is it nice having little Mabel back? Hey. You've got all your ladies now. We've not given them another bale of haylage out here because the grass is beginning to come through and they've got not only this 14 acre field, but the long, the long field, which is about eight acres. Oh, that's Yodel pulling faces at Mabel. Just establishing the pecking order again. Come on down, you're coming back out. Good girl. Annie, 
Are you going to stay out with everyone? That's a wise move. Are you going to go off with Mabel? Not that you like Mabel. She's never been a big fan of Mabel. Good night, Dale. Good night, Neeky News. Can I shut it up now? Everyone's happy and where they should be. Bobby Spish. He looks Spish. Let's put the other one across. Sorry for the bad filming. All in for the night. I think they've got a dry one. This wind, as chilly as it is, the good thing about the wind, it will dry the ground out quicker. Ciao. I'm going to have to turn that up the other way, otherwise you'll undo it, won't you? We've just picked up a delivery package and it said from Lemieux, so we were very excited because these saddle pads are amazing with the memory foam at the front. Well, I can ride her in it as well. So and who else we got? Oh, you see, it's for both of my ones. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh she you will. She'll be a bit angry it. Yeah, she will. It'll take her, like, like with most of them, they wouldn't bother, but Mike, she feels every little thing. Oh, the slightest thing. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So, have we got any idea who they're from? I'll see if I can find that on. I don't know whether Mabel's on the wish list. I'll have to ask Frey. Yeah, she needs that. She does. Yeah, she could. Yeah, when it's warmer and you're just putting the pink yeah, exactly. bit in front, the reflective. Yeah. No idea. So whoever sent this for Annie and Micah, thank you. Thank you. And look, Mabel's got another gift. And I believe this is courtesy of Lisa. Ears. Oh, how cool is that? Absolutely nobody's going to miss you now. It does look nice and soft, doesn't it? Pink Monday. Pink Monday? Yeah. 